In any moment now, we are expecting Tina Talbot to walk out these doors right behind me here. Friends and family have already gathered, anxious to see her after several months behind bars. As you mentioned at the top of the broadcast, she was sentenced to 20 months, up to 15 years for killing her husband, who again, she claims severely abused her for years. The accounts of that abuse are just chilling. Talbot said she was in fear for her life and that of her young son, Philip. After she shot and killed her husband, her attorney says she went to the hospital where she had broken bones and other signs of abuse. She says she endured years of physical and mental torment at the hands of her husband. Now, there's been a lot of public support for Talbot since her guilty plea and imprisonment. Talbot telling Action News this summer that when she learned she'd been granted parole, she just cried. Following her imprisonment, petitions started circulating online, begging Governor Whitmer to pardon her. She fought for parole for around six months before it was granted, and now she is mere moments away from her freedom. We spoke to her attorney last night. Take a listen. And she was caught being a battered woman and she was truly battered. And she was an individual in her own mind had no choice. And this is not a situation where the injuries are something that were not objective. You could just see her injuries. It's about time that she was released. It feels good for her. It feels good for her family. It feels good for the people that have been supporting her. Now, over the summer, Talbot said what she really wants to do upon release is just have some time for peace and quiet and most importantly, spend time with her son, whom her attorney tells us is currently in the care of her parents. Again, several friends and family members here, all eyes on this door. Any moment now, we are expecting Tina Talbot to walk free after months behind bars. We'll have the very latest for you coming up in the next hour. Reporting live this morning, Jen Shantz, 7 Action News.